all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they're giving a back to back updates on how it is the be or how it is the shelf for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too so that you'll be able to get our news anytime when we drop our bojum you'll be among the first set of people to get it also remember to like and share this news too Okay, me the wonderful people. Uh, the latest one with the boss brains at the moment. We say yes, uh, petrol don't reach uh, two thousand five hundred. My people, you don't tell uh, you say this country they on a steady decline, and that is the truth of the matter. The fact that the country is on a steady decline. Uh, this particular one has uh, showed how digressed uh, this particular economy of the nation is, and how far it is ready to keep going low. And that is one thing I am not disputing the fact about. The fact that uh, it is going so low that uh, you would think of it and be like, ha, huh, this country don't finally go like this. Is this the, truly the end of this particular jihadist country? My people, if it is not the end, believe you me that it's, it's showing the end. It is coming to the end because uh, it just shows that this country is on a full decline and there uh, would be very, very, like it would go, come to an end very soon. A whole lot of people have been leaving the country, has been leaving the country. My people, if you check within the time, the time range of um, when their new governor, Abidia president, uh, Jagaban, came in place. And now the rate of people that have left the country has reached thousands. And it's the truth of the matter. And it is from nothing else because but the fact that the 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 amount the rate of the decline of the situation of the country is on another level and uh, it has entered to the extent of uh, them actually considering this particular um, division of the one nigeria because of course if they do not consider it i do not know what else they will be considering because of course right now it has reached that extent and my people it is a very faulty one and cannot be replaced at the moment the most important thing is that uh, they find a way to do these things and do better because if they do not then it has casted the whole thing and it has come to the end of a whole lot of things at the moment the only thing that is expected of them right now is for them to do the needful things they need to do and uh, actually those things cannot be done and people the only solution for us we be our friends that have been wanting and has been asking for our own self for us to be free of these particular people is that they give us what we've always wanted they should let us go, release our Ohama DK in the Ibu for us to be able to actually stay on our own and live our lives. Yes, they should look at how bad their country has been and know that nothing will be able to solve the situation of this country. Nothing will be able to solve how bad this country has gotten. Nothing. And uh, if they, only if they come to that conclusion, will they understand that there is no solution. No matter the president or no matter whoever it is, they decide to actually give control of anything in this place there would be nothing nothing would be able to hold down or to actually give this country a name or a good name again because it is done with this country i believe that the end of the road is sooner than we think and the, the earlier we come to that particular recognition or realization the better for us the only thing that would be very beneficial to the country is we ourselves being on our own the, the Biafra Liberation Army being on their own as we continue making head efforts. The PM continues making big efforts as he continues uh, going for the UK UK meetings and every single thing meeting with leaders, national leaders, international leaders that would help, world leaders that would help in the pushing and the, the, the movement of the Biafra Declaration. None of these things are being done just because we want it to be done but because it is a necessity for it to be done and for us to actually gain from every single thing we are doing at the moment and the only solution for us is for us not to give up giving up is never an option and should never be an option for any of us because at the point we are the the, the stage we are in at this moment right now is a stage of not giving up at all is a stage of being steadfast is a stage of holding down and making sure that none of these things they keep doing affect us and the uh, that uh, we one way or another end up doing the necessary things that would affect us positively that is the truth of the matter that is the only thing that we would look at and they uh, will be surely and uh, heavily fulfilled in every single thing that uh, happens around because one thing is clear we are going to end up making it we are going to end up being successful one way or another 
and we need to be very very sure of it we need to be steadfast we do not need to end up to be naive or be swayed by whatever that is put on the internet against our movement and uh, those that have committed crimes that they can use to blackmail them they have used these people to turn us upside down and that is why we can't even have peace we can't even get what we want at the appropriate time if we if this is our state at this particular point think about it in so many years coming it means that we will be so oppressed and compressed in this nation that for anyone to even come out and say i am an evil person will be will be will be treated like people that are not human beings and by people it it would be the first time that tribalism will be so so strong that we will not be able to say that ah we will not come out proudly to say we are Igbos or we are we are so 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 and so my people it is getting to that time if you think it is not getting to that time look at the place where we are now right now these are the things that were talked about in the old, that were talked about by our leaders earlier on. In the one that were leaders, our Igbo leaders earlier on, that these are the things that will be happening. But of course, most times we did not believe, or people back then did not believe it. But look at it now, we have found ourselves in that same situation. And now we are lamenting, we are crying. But no, we are not going to stop. My people, I feel like this should just be an eye-opener to people to understand that we cannot survive under, we cannot dwell under the same people. We cannot dwell, dwell under their roof. Their roof is not a roof. Their roof, higa higa. We will surely, the sun will surely strike us if we say we are going to hide under them because they are not interested in anything that concerns our business. They are only interested in anything that will benefit them. And they can use our resources. And they are interested in our resources, what we are able to do, how hard we are able to work to keep the country going because they are all lazy people. Every single one of them, very lazy. To see someone that is that is that is hard working or that would want to do put in extra work as an Igbo person, as a as an Aosa person or as a Fulani person is very hard. And that is the truth of the matter. Which is why if you come to the jump lessons or when you come to take jump and everything, if you come to uh, 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 Igbo people, they will carry their exam scores and exam cutoff mark and put it in 300, 350, 320. But then their own, if they manage to even get 90, they will pass them. Manage to get 100. Ha, that person might hear. That is what it is. This is, this is clearly not fair. And then those people will be giving more treatments, more better treatments than we ourselves because that person is from the north. And they will take it from where they are in the north, from their schools in the north, and still bring it to the east. Because someone that would still be getting around those low-level courses, low-level cut-off marks, will still be allowed because they are trying to invade, they are trying to encroach into every system that concerns the and be friends. This is their plan. Now making putting out this command. There was a time that uh, Buhari came out and said the same thing, and the backlash was so much that of course it was not. Now it's looking at it. It's happening the second time. To let you know that this thing is something they've had in mind. This thing is a plan that they've had right from time to make sure that ah we bring these people down to their feet. We encroach into their land. We make sure that we take over their land. Imagine giving Fulanese a free land. They didn't even say a part free land in every place in Nigeria, in every in every place in, in Biafra land, in Abia states, in Eboi states, in Enugu states, in, in uh, uh, Uwere, in Imo states. My people, think about it. When these ones have land, it means that they can get a base of wherever that land is, use it to plan and invade. And do a whole lot of things and that is the issue we keep having these are the issues we keep having every single time when these things are not treated properly you see that we would always have issues issues upon issues upon issues upon issues and when these issues start compiling and keep growing and keep going high my people it means at some point uh, we will not be able to contain it but if it starts now to go against every single thing, to make sure that you let them know that we are not giving up on our call to get Biafra. Then they will come to understand that we are serious and that anything we've ever said has always been serious. 
and they will take us more seriously because that is what we need to do because that is what we are we are serious people that is why the biafra liberation army and the biafra Navy, every single people people involved in this particular movement is working tirelessly tirelessly to make sure that we get what we want and so that is the problem that is the that is the effort we need to keep having so yes my people this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too thank you